Hi again, um, video three, and continuing to help grade nine students model line segments uh, using linear relations on Desmos on flags. We are using the pride flag here as an example. So far, we have modeled uh, a line segment with uh, a negative slope. And then we model a vertical segment uh, that has an undefined slope. There's a part of the task that talks about rotation. And I think what I would like to do is just show you how we can easily begin to rotate the flag and notice and wonder some ideas related to your equations uh, or maybe other equations or other rotations. So. One thing that you'll notice here, uh, I have the points for the vertical segment. And so when I did re-enter this other segment, I needed to actually put those values here in the restriction. I couldn't have the same um, ideas in the brackets. So just know that you can use values in these restrictions to shorten line segment. You'll notice here my work could probably be a little bit refined here um, but I'll leave you to that and your flag. I'm going to keep it as is to just keep it consistent with my work. Okay so if we scroll up to um, this first part you're going to notice a whole uh, bunch of parameters for the flag. It's centered at the origin it has a width of 10 units, so we can see that 5 to the left and 5 to the right of the origin. And then uh, its height um, is 5.3 units, so uh, 2.65 um, up from the origin and 2.65 units down from the origin. Uh, opacity uh, is... Uh, how transparent the image is, and we don't need that, but here we're going to take a look at the angle of rotation. So I'm actually going to go here and I'm going to just put a variable there. There are my line segments. So I put the letter A. I don't think I've used the letter A yet here. And it asks me to add a slider, so I'm going to go ahead and use a slider. It's very intuitive here. Um, it's already suggesting 360. Uh, so there's all sorts of animation properties here. And I think what I'm going to do is repeat in one direction. So I'm going to go like that and show you what you can do if you click the play button. So you'll notice that the rotation is going counterclockwise. So you can use Desmos to animate a rotation. Well, I can stop it. But I can also mouse in and just say, well, what does it look like in its original form? Well, it's been rotated zero degrees. Well, what happens if we rotate it 90 degrees? And once again, it is a counterclockwise rotation, all right? So I just had to enter 90 to do that. So there are some elements of the task that do involve rotation. And here, uh, my recommendation is to be able to uh, place a variable in um, this part right here. And that's going to allow you to animate it, uh, which is sometimes fun. You can use a slider, which you've seen before. Uh, and then you can also key in a value right here if you need to. Gives you lots of flexibility. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and bye for now.